So if you are on the market searching for a watch to use with your electric unicycle, I have here a solution coming from Emotion. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it good enough to see the speeds? By the way, if you don't want to use your phone, can I use this one? If you want to know everything, stay tuned until the end of the video. The model that we have here when we look on the back is the V01. It will come in two different colors, orange and red, but the one they sent to me is the orange one. The weight of this one is 165 and supposedly inside you are going to have a charging of one amp the battery on this watch is 500 milliamp hours the question is is it good enough it's uh, enough battery to use in big rides of four hours so let's open the box and see what comes inside So when we look to the box, it's a very, very simple box. You just have saying on the front, ride wear for electric unicycles, the brand, the watch. On the sides, you just have one of the sides saying in motion. So when we talk about the user manual, and I have to point it out once again, that I think is a very, very cool thing is in English. That is something that we normally don't see in other electric unicycles. They come in, in Chinese and you don't have a lot of information. Here you have all the information. The watch will come with two buttons. The bottom one is for the trumpet. The top one is to turn on, turn off your watch, to turn off the lights or turn on the lights and also to turn off the screen of your uh, watch. Yeah, you can connect this watch supposedly with every wheel from Inmotion. So if you have a v8f like i have you can use your watch if you have the v11 you can use your watch so whatever is the wheel that you are using you are able to connect and here it shows the v3 v8 v5 v10 so you have your strap and the strap is quite flexible we'll see the quality in the long term but is is basically black and the inside is in orange you have also your cable obviously to charge and this comes with magnets you need to put in the right way otherwise it is not going to connect let's see this one a little bit closer the watch and I have to say to you guys is super super light I was expecting that it feels much much heavier because I'm used to this type of watch like this one is the Garmin Fenix 3 I think this is plastic the metal part is just on the front the buttons they are very clickable and I really like the the way they seems they are floating okay it's turning on and now it's connected the screen is really really bright so my wheel is already connected and let's see if it takes time to connect you have already <laughs> recognized it was super super fast and and it's connected my god it's super super responsive since you connect it showed me like a screen with the speed and the percentage of battery that i still have on the v11 that in this case is 56 percent the screen even uh, if you see as round is not it's just a square that you have on the middle when you arrive here you have basically three screens so you have the the middle one that is your speed in big and the percentage of your battery so that is cool you can see also if you, your bluetooth is connected and what is the battery that you have on this watch when you turn to the side you can see your average speed you can see the motor power in watts what is the temperature of your vehicle and your current mileage so how many kilometers you've done in that specific if you trips after you have your vehicle management so when you enter to the vehicle management is basically connected to your wheel like you can see that i've done now and after you have your settings so you can come here and saying oh the maximum speed is 35 kilometers per hour i don't know why because my 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 wheel is not is uh, unlocked to 55 kilometers per hour anyway you can see the firmware updates so if you need to up update your uh, wheel you can do directly on your watch so definitely cool the screen is super super responsive is really really good I, I really really enjoy how fast it is you can control the volume after you have race to walk and the light effect switch i don't know what is that something weird so maybe the the battery that i was seeing is the battery from the watch because now i just connected my wheel and it's saying 98 percent and that's true because uh, when i i just charge the wheel so i need to double check if there is a firmware update and there is and supposedly it should be all right after so guys this is a second day and like you can see the v11 is not here anymore and sorry for the noise if you hear is from the v8f why i have the v8f so after i talked to them they explained to me that the watch at the moment is not working with the v11 okay so like i said to you guys this is a tester unit so it's not the final product i'll tell you what's my first impressions after just playing around a little bit with it at the moment is not connected to the v V8F. And if I press in vehicle, so now it's scanning, and you have already found the V8F, I press one, okay, so one, two, three, and it's connected like you could hear. So it's really, really responsive. 
and now yes it is working properly it was not moving so if i was just moving my v11 it was doing anything and the battery was always saying 56 percent so now this one is fully charged it's saying 99 percent and just to show you how fast it is and that is one of the things when you are using the euc world with your watch it's not really responsive so if you have to use the buzz the the horn in this case so one two three you see one two three Oh no, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's very responsive. And now if you see the front light, one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So it's very, very responsive. So let's talk a little bit more about this watch and what I think that they can improve because like I said, this video is also to give you some information what you can expect from the watch. But what I would like to see on this one, I love the buttons. They are really, really responsive and they have a vibration. I don't have went outside to write, but I would love to have the possibility to set my alarms. And what I'm saying with this is if I reach, imagine 53 kilometers per hour with the V11, I want this watch to vibrate on my wrist. I'm not sure if it do but it's just to point it out that will be one of the things that i would love to see on this watch another thing that i'm not really pleased it works well because all the watch is black but the screen is just a small square in the middle if in the future they want to put some apps connected to this watch so for example being able to see your message if you don't need to be able to write them on your watch i have a garmin i'm not able to write anything but i like to have the possibility to just see really quick and see if it's important or not to take out my watch from my pocket another thing that is important in my opinion that emotion makes with this watch is to come with two straps so one is the normal strap and the other one is to use on the hand so i have already seen another watch that i don't recommend you because it's a it's a brand that basically they had a lot of problems in indiegogo but it's a company called on tracks that they have like two watches to, that you put on your hand that was one thing that i would love if i could trust in that company i love that they do exactly the same type of straps that it goes around this finger and the watch stays in here another thing that they should put in the final version is obviously if it comes with these straps the watch is now pointing in that direction i would like that is just for example pressing in the two buttons in the same time and it changed the rotation of the the screen and it rotates in this way and in opposite way what is the advantage if someone have to put in the other hand they can adjust the screen in the way that they need that is two other things that are I think is essential to put in a watch to be able to reach a bigger market this is like a smart watch but with the capability to connect with our wheel i want to see my steps how many steps i've done how many calories i burn and if you have xiaomi products that you can do that i believe that they can do the same and even here on the back it says health sports definitely i believe that they are going to improve that part on the watch and being able to deliver that another thing that i think is important to point it out on this watch but the possibility to connect with my gps i don't need to see the maps but at least saying to me that i need to turn right or left in 300 meters in one kilometer those things will be very very interesting interesting on this watch overall i think they are going in the right direction if they make some changes like i said the main thing is having this feature to turn on and turn off the lights so fast okay it's basically i press and something happened the question is are they going to be able to do everything that i said i'm not sure but these videos are for that is to help them to improve the final product and also to give you some feedbacks of what is my first impressions about the emotion watch if you have any questions leave in the comments below if you have any ideas for emotion please leave in the comments below my name is marco this is Pack. if it's your first time here don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and i hope to see you in the next one